Hey everybody, uh, long time no talk, I haven't been on uh, YouTube in a while, things have been uh, crazy, hectic at home and at work, um, I was promoted at work to a larger store, um, I run a department store in Canada and uh, it's been a little bit hectic to say the least, so um, I'm just starting to kind of get control of things, so I thought I would do a quick video, I'm off this week. And I thought I would do a quick video. So um, I'm not going to show my Studio Calco kit. Not that I, um, I'm getting still getting the Studio Calco kit, but my neighbor's taken over my subscription for a while because I'm just overloaded in product, which is kind of ironic since I'm doing a haul video. Um, but she's going to be taking over my kit for a bit just so that I can kind of get through some of the product that I have. I was actually considering canceling, not because I don't love my kits, because I love them. But I just wasn't getting to them anymore, and I just felt it was a waste of money. But she really wanted to build up a bit of a stash herself. So she agreed to take over my um, my subscription for as long as I like. Um, and then I can just take it back, and then we'll actually just um, share shipping. She lives right next door to me, so it works out quite well for both of us. So I'm just going to share some uh, new things that I just picked up. So with the last kit, I did place... Um, an order for some extra things so I got these really cute uh, little paper clips and I don't know if you can see it I got the apple isn't it adorable so the little apple you get five of them so I got the apple I got um, if you can I'm gonna clip it on that might be the best way to do it I got the whale And I picked the um, little moped. So cute. So I picked those up. Um, then um, I went to Crop and Create and uh, in Markham uh, probably about a month ago now with my next door neighbor. And we had a great time. It was a lot of fun. I highly suggest going if you can go. Uh, we um, did the crop and we did three classes. Um... Uh, I did two two classes with Kelly Perky, which were fantastic. One was called Misting and More, and one was um, you made a little mini album, and this is the album that we made, and it's uh, really cute. I, I'm going to give it to my daughter so she can do what she wants with it, but it was really cute, a lot of fun. And she Kelly Perky is so nice. Um, really really sweet walked around and visited everyone at the crop and just really liked her really enjoyed her classes they were kind of relaxed and um, at your own pace and then I did another class by Kelly Gorey but Kelly Gorey couldn't make it because it was the uh, weekend of that huge snowstorm and her flight got cancelled so Vicki Booten taught her class and I don't know that I would do that kind of class again it was very intense very specific like cut two inches from this page and stick it on there and and then the layout wasn't really my style anyway so I don't know that I would do those kinds of classes again I would take a Kelly Perky class again in a second but I don't know that I would do um, some of the other classes the card making class looked really good I think Becky Fleck was supposed to teach it but her flight got cancelled too so um, the owner of Maya Road taught it and uh, I saw some of the cards that they made and they looked beautiful so anyway I would do got that again. So while I was at Crop and Create, I didn't buy much, as I said, because I have tons of my stuff, but I did pick up these Maya Road uh, trinket pins because um, they're really cute and I like they're clear, so they're easy to mix and match. Then at Michael's, I just picked up these new mini pockets. They have the Michael's version of the Smashbooks, but I just, I don't do Smashbooks, but I got this little mini pocket because I like those for layouts. And then I ordered... Um, a couple of stamp sets from Paper Issues. I hadn't ordered from her before, so I wanted to try her out, and she had some stamp sets that I like. So these are some, these are from some Odd Girl stamps, and this set is called, it doesn't have a name, but that's the set. Sorry about the glare. Is that better? Um, so it does celebrate what could be better. You make me happy, smile all day, every day. You had me at hello, and then that, um, this arrow has how are you doing and then a little chevron really cute I liked those so I picked those up and then I picked these glitz um, color me happy rubber stamp set and this is what the stamps look like 
So really cute. I love that camera. The Polaroid camera I think is really cute. So um, I picked that up from Paper Issues. Then from Simon's Stamp, I ordered um, a couple of stamp sets when Jennifer McGuire had her... I think this is when Jennifer McGuire had her 25% off or something. I think that's when I got these. Anyway, they're older sets, but I wanted to get them. So this is the Summer Rock set by Allie Edwards. I picked that one up. And then I picked up um, the Believe set by Allie Edwards for Christmas. So I picked those up. Um, then on the Studio Calico boards, I guess on the International Board, a bunch of Canadian girls were talking about um, scrapbook stores that we could order from in Canada that sell individual papers because... The shipping to Canada from um, other than Simon Says Stamp is absolutely ridiculous. And Simon Says Stamp does not sell individual, individual sheets of paper. So um, someone suggested this website called The Scrapping Bug. It's based out of Waterloo, Ontario. And they do a flat ship rate of uh, $10.95, which is pretty good for Canadian shipping because anything you order from Two Peas is like $25. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, and if you don't want the entire collection, um, Simon Says Stamp doesn't really make sense for you either. So, um, I was able to get my hands on some of the new collections there. I just ordered some paper, really, from them, because I have a lot of embellishments. The only thing I did order was the DIY Shop Ephemera Pack, and it's really cute. I love that this set has, um, so really cute, just, like, cards, and it has a... forget what those are called but it has that it had just like a lot of really neat ephemera for layering and stuff so I picked that it has letters months of the year um, really neat stuff then I picked up paper from them so I'll show the paper I picked up um, three different papers from three different collections so from dear Lizzie lucky charm I picked up this one is called bright bobble so it's the one with the blue with the pink triangles and then the ombre pink. Then I've got um, from Lucky Charm, uh, Pretty Painterly. So that one and this one. From Lucky Charm, I got Falling Star. So that and this. And then I got Stargazers. This looks like a Studio Calico paper we got a while ago. And then the the red with the pink stars. It's really cute. And then I think I must have ordered three of this one by mistake, but that's okay. <laughs> it's called uh, Click. So it's that one. This is also oh, this is from Maggie Holmes, by the way. This is the Maggie Holmes collection by Crate Paper, and it's called Click. So it's that one, but it has this really neat kind of parquet flooring, hardwood flooring on the back. And I got three of that one, but that's okay because that's a great background paper. And then I got two of this ledger, and I think I ordered two of this one by mistake too. It's called Lovely. Oh, did I get three of this one? Oh, I did. I got three of this one too. Lovely. And that's the background. Uh, this one called Captured. The doily. I love this Maggie Holmes collection. This one I actually probably would have ordered the collection kit except for some of the stamp was sold out of it. Um, Aperture, the brick wall, and then that pattern. I got two of this one because I think this is my most favorite paper out of Cha. Oh, is that not the most dreamy paper ever? I love it. It's called um, Remember This, and then the backside's awesome too. So I love this paper. I got Insta Friends. I love that bird. It's so cute. Um, Emily Jane, really pretty floral, and then another ledger. Moments. So the music notes, and then the pink doily pattern. Elizabeth Kate, a floral, and then this really neat. Chevron, uh, Dreamy, the Boca paper, which is lovely as well, and then these really neat cameras on the back. Happy Day, this yellow floral, and then that one there. And then from the DIY collection, I picked up the washi paper, which is really neat. I really like that. 
I like this DIY collection. It's really nice. Um, so I got this one. It's called Crafty, but this side's amazing. I love this side. Uh, um, project. Found. So Ledger and then this really neat map paper of Europe. I may use this one um, to pinpoint all the different countries I've been to in Europe and all the different places I've been. It'll be a neat layout. And, oh, I did two of this crafty one because I loved it. And then the only other thing I picked up, because the Michaels in Canada actually got the Heidi Swap project, product as well. Shocking. Um, so I got the Heidi Swap color, Me Shine, and the gold. I used a 40% off coupon with that. And that's all, everyone. So hope all is well. Um... If I have time, I will do a layout share at some point this week. I've got a lot of layouts done, especially since I went to that crop. So, hope all is well. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.